Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of my video blog series. I am your host Nick Renard and today we are going to be talking about the Bing Ads editor and comparing it to the AdWords editor. Now the AdWords editor is a program that Google made to uh, make the changes within AdWords campaigns significantly easier. Bing has a a very similar program that is actually just mirrored off of how the AdWords editor was created. So what I want to do in this video is show you the parallels between the two. And if you haven't used either ever, then hopefully this video uh, encourages you to start using them. And I think that in most cases, if you you have some experience with AdWords, that you probably used the AdWords editor before because it'd be very difficult to run a I wouldn't yeah it'd be inefficient to be running a campaign without it but um, hopefully you can get introduced to the Bing Ads editor and start uh, using that with your uh, campaigns on Bing as well so uh, for those of you that are new the AdWords editor and the Bing Ads editor are free downloadable applications for managing advertising campaigns uh, you download the accounts for, for AdWords and Bing from uh, the the browser interface so it pulls all that information into an offline platform and one of the reasons that it's awesome to have it offline is because you can make all the changes at, at once while the campaigns are offline and then once you have everything in place how you want it set then you can go ahead and post it and it, everything will get posted at once so some of the advantages like I was just talking about with the offline changes being able to submit everything at once is a lot better than stringing it in mainly because if you're to string in the changes then uh, depending on how long it takes you to make those changes there can be you know let's say it takes an hour or two or three to make you know build out a new campaign uh, instead of having to shut that campaign off for a couple hours or just have that campaign run and have those settings keep getting changed uh, you could just do it all at once uh, and then it's a very smooth transition from where the campaigns were until how you want them now. Uh, main advantage for both Bing Ads and AdWords Editor, they're both faster, more efficient, and easier managed in the browser interface. Uh, the browser interface is meant more for, for looks so that you kind of show clients, you know, it's meant to have cute little graphics and look nice and be organized in a uh, an appealing, aesthetically appealing way, uh, but the the ed AdWords editor and the Bing Ads editor are meant more significantly more for utility rather than looks. So, what I want to do is show you both of these in action. The main thing I want to do is for the people who are used to the AdWords editor now, uh, I I want to show you that the the differences between these two, the Bing Ads ed editor and the AdWords editor, are not different at all and that if you've used if you have experience with the AdWords editor that it's very easy to get started with the Bing Ads editor as well. So uh, let's get out of this slideshow and all right in the this is the AdWords editor you'll start by having your My Client Center open up uh, if you are only managing one account then you're only gonna have one uh, one campaign here or one account here uh, but we manage a bunch of different accounts so we have all of ours listed here which is really nice uh, because you can search through them and uh, have them all in one platform uh, which yeah very nice anyways I'm gonna be using one of our clients as an example here so we go ahead and double click on the client that we want to be looking at and here it pops up with the as you can see in the top left corner the Google AdWords editor uh, the Bing Ads editor is ex almost exactly the same. Uh, it looks a little bit different. This is what the Bing Ads Editor looks like. And instead of selecting a client from this screen that you saw here, where all the clients are listed, we select our clients from this drop-down box here. So we can select whichever client we're interested in viewing, and they'll pop up in the, the Bing Ads Editor for us, which is, which is uh, quite handy. All right, so the first thing that we want to do whenever we open up, I'm going to go back to the Google AdWords editor here. The first thing that I do when I'm managing campaigns is I want to make sure that I'm looking at the correct date range because that's so, so important. When you're looking at data uh, over, um, I mean, the data is completely irrelevant if you don't know where or when that 
time frame covers. If you're looking at the last week, the last 14 days, the last year, the year before that, last 90 days, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, it all it's all relative and it all makes a difference based on what you, you know the the data that you're analyzing. So the first thing I do is in in the top here, you'll see a drop down box that says statistics. You'll want to set your date range. They have seven days and 30 days and a, a couple preset ones, but you can also select a custom date range here if you want. Uh, so I usually just select all the campaigns. And then down here at the bottom, you can click custom date range and select the time frame that you want it to show. I'll drag this up a little bit here. So if we want to look at all of August, let's say, and set it like that and click download and it'll download all that. And while it's doing that, we'll go over to Bing Ads Editor and I'll show you that it does the same thing. Bing Ads Editor, uh, it's the exact same thing. Statistics drop down box up here. They have the little preset. Bing Ads actually has some more preset options than AdWords Editor does, which is cool. Uh, but you could, there's also the custom date range, so if we want to look at the same thing. Actually, they have one preset for this month, so if we want to look at all of August, we can just select this month and it will do the same. It's lagging a little bit right now, but you can see the load bar down here. It'll bring it up. So going back to the AdWords editor, you can see that the looking at the statistics between the AdWords editor and the Bing Ads editor, they're both exactly the same. Like I said, both of these programs are almost direct mirrors of each other. You just have to get used to the interfaces of both of them. And the second thing that we want to do, you you recall that. I said that this is an offline program, so none of this information is going to be updated until you tell the offline program to update it with and pull the new information from uh, from the the online interface of AdWords or Bing or whatever you're looking at. Uh, so the second thing we want to do is make sure that we get recent changes. So if you haven't looked at the campaigns in a few days and you always want to come up here, click get recent changes. I always do more data. It includes more information than the basic faster one does and select all campaigns and it'll go ahead and download all of your information uh, from the previous you know however long it's been since you've last been in here now Bing Ads Editor exact same thing you'll see that they have a drop down box called get changes exact same thing they have a faster one a slower one I always select the slower one select all campaigns and it'll start downloading all the information and pulling all that from uh, from the site so now you can see in our AdWords editor, we have all of the current information for all of August. You can see the date range up here in the statistics drop down box. And the Bing Ads editor, it's telling us it's complete. Same thing, showing us the statistics for August. We have our most recent changes. They're almost, they're, they're directly parallel. So you, um, like I said, if you use the AdWords editor before, you can use the Bing Ads editor. Don't be afraid of it. All right, so <clears throat> the next thing here is talking about uh, some of the things that you can do within the editors. Uh, and this video is geared more towards people who have a little bit of experience with, or a lot of experience with the AdWords editor already. But if you don't have any experience with this stuff, I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, run through some of the basics of it. Um, normally, if you wanted to make changes in the browser interface, you would go you know, to the Keywords tab or the Ad Groups tab or the Ads tab, whatever you wanted to adjust. Uh, if you wanted to do an ad rotation, you could go to the Ads tab and uh, look at your ads for a certain campaign. You can do that exact same thing um, on these platforms that you can in the browser interface, but it's organized in a way that's a little bit easier for us to look at. So what we want to do is in the AdWords interface, the main difference between these two is in the Bing Ads editor, you'll see all of the, uh, the sections organized up here across the top where it says keywords, so if we want to look at keywords for any one of these given campaigns on the left hand side, we would select the keywords tab. If we want to look at the ads, ads tab, ad groups, targeting, etc. And then if you if you look over at the AdWords editor, it's actually a little bit different. Um, we still have all of our campaigns up here on, on the left hand side, but instead of having the tabs across the top, they kept everything on the left hand side here. So you can still see uh, keywords, location targeting, um, your ads and extensions, you have your text ads, image ads, etc, etc. So you can um, you can see a, a lot of how that works right there. So within the Bing Ads, let's go back to Bing Ads here. If we wanted to, let's say, add a keyword to an ad group, we would simply select the campaign that we're interested in. So let's say this is the campaign we wanted to add a keyword to. Select our Keywords tab. 
and if we click plus keyword you can see here that it, it pops up down here with all the options of how you want to do it uh, so if we wanted the keyword search engine marketing platform or let's say agency we'll just pretend like we're advertising us uh, you can set a destination URL for that keyword De uh, keyword destination URLs are fantastic because they override the ad group level URL so if you want to get more granular with your URLs you can assign uh, URLs at the keyword level for individual keywords and that'll uh, that'll help you be a little more specific with where you're sending people on the site and then you have the same stuff that you'd also see in the AdWords or, or the browser interfaces where you can set the the match type broad exact phrase and then the bid whatever you want to bid on it and yeah I mean it's pretty simple to to add a keyword like that um, Bing Ads Editor exact same thing where oops oh this was a Bing Ads Editor I apologize uh, AdWords Editor exact same thing we select the campaign that we're interested in so let's say it's this one fall search and we go up to our keyword section again it's down here instead of across the top click the keywords tab just like we would in the Bing Ads editor click add keyword and you can see that it has the same stuff match type bid uh, the destination the keyword level destination URL the keyword that so uh, search engine marketing agency um, yeah so literally the exact same thing uh, ads are the same way but in I mean instead of selecting I'm gonna go ahead and delete this keyword here uh, instead of selecting the keywords here we would select the the ads uh, AdWords editor is nice because it breaks it up into text ads and image ads you can see that so if we wanted to add a new ad we could hit plus add text and enter in our headline description lines all the things that we need for an ad on AdWords and if we go over to Bing Ads, we can see the exact same thing, where instead of being on the Keywords tab, you want to be on the Ads tab. And you can click plus add text here. And I don't know where the drop down box is for this. But um, what you can see is you can see the same thing where you have your headline, uh, your the ad text for the ad, and then your, your uh, destination, your URLs where you want them to be landing. So the main thing between these two, I, um, if you haven't used a Bing Ads editor before and you've been using the uh, Bing Ads uh, browser interface just because you didn't know, a lot of people that I've talked to didn't even know that the Bing Ads editor existed and even when I started, I, I started using the AdWords editor and when I first found out there was a Bing Ads editor, I was like, what? Uh, but uh, it, it's extremely efficient, it saves a lot of time. Um, if you haven't messed around with the Bing Ads Editor or the AdWords Editor before, then I highly, highly, highly recommend you download them and uh, make make the changes uh, just like you would in the browser interface, but do it in this interface where it's more efficient and you can group things together and highlight things much more efficiently than you can in the browser interface. It'll save you a lot of time. Uh, it'll allow you to view things from a more efficient angle than in the browser interface. And yeah, I recommend you guys try it out. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.